This is the second method of central transverse scan. Also, like the first lecture, it is a scan to see the portal vein using the central transverse scan method. Just to see the hepatic veins, all you have to do is press the probe forcefully and raise it toward the head. It is important to press the probe with a little more force. In that case, an image like this will be displayed. This is the IFC. This is the central hepatic vein, and this is the right hepatic vein, and this is the left hepatic vein. These three branches are clearly visible. It is a straight blood vessel. The important thing here. Central hepatic vein. When drawing random lines like this and looking at them, it's right over here, centering on the central hepatic vein, the right lobe of the liver. This is the left lobe of the liver. This place is centered on the right hepatic vein in the right lobe of the liver. This is the anterior lobe of the liver, and this is the posterior lobe of the liver. Also, centering on the left hepatic vein, that is, it corresponds to the medial lateral lobe of the left hepatic lobe. This is the lateral lobe. It can be confirmed through this hepatic vein that it can be divided into four zones. In the normal liver, the portal vein, then hepatic veins, and only the normal tissue of the liver should be visible. Since the portal vein and the hepatic vein are also shown, it is important how to distinguish the two vessels. In the case of portal vein the blood vessel wall is thick and fibery, so it's very bright. In the case of hepatic veins, the blood vessel wall is very thin, and there is not much fiber. Therefore, it is very difficult to see the walls of blood vessels to the extent that you do not know whether the walls are visible or not. Let's practice based on what we have learned so far. It is also a central transverse scan. Inspect in the same way. Start in the direction where the portal vein is visible. If you give a little angle to the head from this direction, as now, the hepatic vein appears as three branches. The important thing here is that the hepatic vein enters in this way, towards the inferior vena cava. Also in the same way, these are the three veins visible in the liver. In the middle is the central hepatic vein, the right hepatic vein, the left hepatic vein. Centered here on the central hepatic vein, here is the right lobe of the liver. This is the left lobe of the liver. Centered on the right hepatic vein, the anterior lobe here corresponds to the anterior lobe among the right lobes of the liver. And this is the posterior lobe of the liver right lobe. Looking at the left hepatic vein, this is the medial lobe. That is, it becomes the medial lobe among the left lobes. This is the lateral lobe. Look again. Stick out your lower belly. Protrude the lower abdomen in the same way as now. If you give the probe angle towards the head, three long line shades appear. This is the hepatic vein. But the important thing, if you can see the difference between this hepatic vein and the portal vein. Portal vein are like this. Of course, the driving directions are different. Portal vein look like this bright line, shade, because the walls of the blood vessels are fibrous. Hepatic veins do not have a lot of fiber. I don't know if there is a blood vessel wall or not. It is the hepatic vein that is not well drawn like this. This is how you should know.